Softball season began Saturday with a meeting of sectional finalists as Group 2 Bordentown hosted Group 1 South Hunterdon. A holdover from that BCSL Liberty Division champion Bordentown squad is pitcher Allison Hoppy, who built on an 18-2 sophomore campaign with a three-hitter and 15 strikeouts in the first game of her junior year. I was just hitting my spots, um, just defense behind me, everyone made the plays when they had to. Um, so just the trust that we have is really good. I think just like the off season, just how hard um, I worked and my teammates worked. Um, we come to practice every day and we all work as hard as we can. Um, so that in a game we can have fun and <laughs> the game was still scoreless in the fourth inning when South Hunterdon's Delaney Baker hit a leadoff double. She had a chance to score on a one-out grounder by Skylar Badessa a moment later, but Bordentown third baseman Sophia Peterson teamed with Casey Benton, a converted center fielder who was making her debut behind the plate, to cut the run down. It's different. It's different um, having people kind of like slide at you, so just positioning and stuff, but no, it was, it was fun. <laughs> Honestly, that was um, that was what kind of got us, you know, like hyped up because I feel like if they got that run, we would have fell behind. But just the fact that we stopped that run and then we continue to get runs in definitely helped the team out. Bordentown got going offensively in the fifth inning when Lillian Nucera's single to right field led to a two-base error. A line drive off Angelina Marino's bat brought Nucera across to make it one nothing, and there was some snowball effect after that. The Scotties had just two hits in the fifth, but four Eagles errors turned those two knocks into a five-run inning. Actually, we got to get on the field a lot more often. Uh, this is only our fourth time on the field this year. We had two scrimmages and just two practices, or two practices in our game here, so... Defense is going to have to pick it up. Obviously, not scoring any runs didn't help either. So they're a very good team, good pitching. So give them credit. South Hunterdon didn't manage another hit off Hoppy over the last two innings, but the Scotties weren't quite finished. Brianna Fisher doubled in a run in the sixth, and a second run scored on another Eagles error. Peterson followed with her second sacrifice fly to finish off an eight nothing Bordentown victory. Great day. I mean, we came out with the win. Um, Allison on the mound was just phenomenal today. She had 15 strikeouts, so a great day for her, followed by a really good defensive play day for everybody. Um, took us a little while to get our bats to come around, but when we finally did, we uh, strung some things together and uh, made it happen. From Bordentown High School, this is John Lewis.